guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna here, if you're new here. And today we're gonna to be doing the eyeshadow challenge. The eyeshadow challenge consists of picking your favorite eyeshadow palette, numbering all the colors in the palette, and then selecting the colors at random to create an eyeshadow look. So today I'm going to be using my, um, my eyeshadow palette by Juvia's Place, and it's the Tribe, and this is what it looks like. And it has all these pretty green colors. Y'all, excuse my face. I just primed my eyelids and did my eyebrows. So it's going to look crazy before the mat, before the beauty. So just FYI, just disclosing that. But anyway, so yeah, this is the palette I chose. Um, in the next clip, I'm going to show you the numbers. So now that you guys know the numbers, I'm going to go ahead and shake up the little pieces of paper that I have in here. I'm going to be doing three colors because I'm not doing a bunch of extra stuff. So yeah, um, this is my Juvia's Place makeup case, just so you guys don't know. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and choose three. Oh, if I can find them. Okay, here's this one. So I got number seven, and number seven is this color. Oh, it's a perfect transition color. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I won already. I've done this. Okay, I'll be good. Okay, and then I chose number nine. And that is this color. Oh, that's going to be difficult. That's going to be a little. So this one, I have a Shanti and then Sand. So the last color, I hope it's like a, a shimmer or something because I'm not trying to do all these mattes. Okay. And then I have number one. Let's see what number one is. That's this bright color here. Okay, I think I can work with this. I think I got a little lucky. So I have Ashanti, yeah, Ashanti, Sand, and Masai. Masai, yeah, I believe that's what it says. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. I'm trying to do this little bang swoop thing with my bun when I take this out, so we're gonna see how this turns out to look. If it looks crazy, then you know I'm not gonna show y'all, but we're gonna see. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this look. We have, again, San, Ashanti, and Masai. Seven, nine, one. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm just going to start with a little background on this uh, palette. It's the Tribe palette by Juvia's Place. And as of right now, the Juvia's website has it for $14. It's originally $20. And... Um, Ulta has it for $20 as well. So I would just go ahead on and go to the Juvia's website. Oh, because today only they have 30% off um, eyeshadows. So it's normally $20. So yeah, um, on the Juvia's website and at Ulta. I don't think Sephora sells it, sells Juvia's, but Ulta definitely does. So go ahead and check it out if you like it. It's really pretty. All right. So y'all already know that I am doing a smoky eye look with these colors because they are just smoky worthy. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with um, sand, this color right here, number nine. And I'm gonna pack that onto my lid in the shape of my eye. I'm being hella light because I know this palette is just super pigmented. So that's why I'm just like, whoo, I don't want, I don't want to like stain me or whatever. This reminds me of the look that I did in my um, video before about the new products that I received. And yeah, I guess I'm going to be recreating it. I already have this vision in my head on what I'm going to do. So hopefully it turns out exactly as I like, as I want it to. Yeah, this is gonna turn out a little nice. I'm already knowing. And this is my favorite palette. I'll, all out of all of the palettes that I have, like it was really hard to to decide. But this palette, I chose it because it was something that like <clears throat> I've seen so many people do great looks on this palette, and I'm just like, damn, like I needed something with like a bunch of greens in it. Cause at first, I man, none of my palettes had greens. The only green that I had was from the um the Jackie Ina palette, and that's not necessarily like. Uh, emerald green like this you know what I mean and I always wanted to try emeralds or 
like really dark foresty greens so yeah but um i would say this palette is really good but as far as paying full price for it i don't know like <sighs> I love Juvia's Place and I love supporting like black owned businesses and paying, you know, paying for their work. But it's just like, ugh, I just don't like spending money. <laughs> That's just me. Or at, at least my money. I don't like spending my money. Everybody else's money? It's okay. Hey, but yeah. So I'm just, as you can see, I'm just packing this in because I'm going to smoke it out um, once I'm done packing in the green color. And I, the reason why it's the eye shape is because I want to do it like just, I want the other color, the, um, I'm, if you don't know already, I'm going to go in with the Shanti to smoke out my, um, the outer line. So let me see. I can use this brush. Or is this too fan? Oh, but the brush that I used to pack this in is the Juvia's, um, 127 precision brush. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but yeah, that's the one that I'm using. And then to... Uh, go around the outside. I'm going to use this uh, brush that I got from Amazon. I hope it's It doesn't seem like it's like fluffy enough. I think I'm gonna use this one. It's just a Morphe brush I don't like how Morphe's brushes now. They don't have like the numbers on them. I guess because I buy them in packs, but I don't know Well, I see other youtubers do their um, Videos and they mention the Morphe brushes. It says they say that they have like a number or something so I feel like that's very helpful because then I can go and get the exact brush that um, that they're using. And then, okay, so right now, as you can see, I'm just, I'm going in with the Shanti with this fluffier Morphe brush and then I'm going along the edges to smoke it out. So it's not such a um, harsh line of green there. This challenge is fun because you never know what you're gonna get. Like, and then you can go back in with uh, sand, that green color, and just like, just go back and forth with it, you know? a really nice brown like I never realized how good it looked I thought it was really olive because on I mean I guess from the eye it looks really olivey like as far as like the undertone looks olivey but this actually looks kind of um dark I guess because it's mixed with this green but it's whatever you just want to keep going back and forth with the colors to make sure that Everything is nice and seamless. There's no like harsh lines or anything. <clears throat> so yeah. All right. And then after you pack that on, well, after I pack it on, this is what I'm gonna do for my um for a massage. I don't know if this this look seemed pretty predictable, but uh yeah, this is what I planned. I mean, this is not what I had in mind, but. It just came together once I figured out which colors I have. And then I'm gonna go in um, oops, with this Juvia's, um, this Juvia's blending brush. It doesn't have a number as well, but it's it comes in a set of like um, five or four, four or five brushes, but yeah, they're on the website. And then I'm gonna pack the uh, Maasai color, the neon green or yellow into my um, inner corner. This look was too easy. Like, it was not a challenge whatsoever. Just saying. I would have to redo it. <laughs> have to do a whole nother look because this is... I should use another palette because this... I think it was so easy because this palette is small. It doesn't have that many colors, but whatever. Oops, I put too much in this area right here. So, because I put too much, I'm going to just go in and repack in that green color just so it's not so much yellow right there. And yeah, that's basically how the look is gonna look. <clears throat> and you could just keep going back and forth till you get the desired look that you want as far as the 
the sand color green and the brown. All right, and that is the final look. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then I'm gonna put my lashes on. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a black liner. I'm gonna do lashes, liner, the other eye, and then I'm gonna come back with my face done and then we're gonna finish off the bottom lash line and um, under here after I do the face. All right, I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, you guys, we are back and my face is finished. Um, the only thing that I'm gonna do now is do the under lash line and then I'm gonna do my, um, my bottom lash line mascara. So for my, I always have trouble with this because I end up looking like a raccoon. So I'm gonna just try my best with the bottom lash line and we're just gonna do um, sand, this color. Oh, sorry y'all, this color sand. And y'all, as y'all can see my little um, swoop bang turned out okay, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I want to use a very precise brush. I think I'm going to use this Morphe brush. And of course, it doesn't have a number, but yeah, we're going to use that. And then I'm going to flip. I'm going to look down because I'm looking. Well, no. You know what? I'm going to get a little mirror out because I need to look up. So, for this, you want to look up because you want your eye, this part, to be able to, you know, be um, open. So, do it like this. I don't know if y'all can really see it. But I'm just going very slowly. I... All right, I think I like that where it's at. So now I'm going to go in with that, uh, the brush that I used before. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to use a clean brush, and it's just a fluffy brush just, just to fluff out the bottom part. So it doesn't look like it's just a harsh line of green under your eye. All right. Oh, my little bangs is starting to come out. <laughs> this is the first time I've done this look. I've seen a lot of people doing it, and I really think it's really cute, especially with like hair and that's not braids. I think it's really cute, and I really want to try it with my um, natural hair one day or whenever I take these braids out. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara, and then I'm going to deepen, well, not really deepen, but brighten up that inner eye look because I kind of got lost while I didn't do the mascara. Okay, let me go back in with um, Masai and I'm just going to brighten up that inner corner um, highlight right here just to make sure it pops more than so y'all can see that I did use this color and I wasn't cheating and only used two. This is the final look. What do you think? Not too bad. So yeah, this is, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video because I am done. Yeah, so this is my eyeshadow challenge with using the Juvia's Place Tribe pal palette and using three colors out of this palette and I think it turned out really well. Go ahead and follow me on my social media uh, accounts. I'll leave them right down below. And thank you for watching. Go ahead and like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.